You're right. I think the best way to stay cool is to try and hit some of the pools before school starts, before they all close down for the season. So uh, just try and get out there, stay cool as much as possible. I don't know about you, but this time of the year, I'm officially done with summer. That's how far I get. I get to late July, early August, and that's why we call it the dog days of summer. And we've had 20 triple digit days in a row in the Waco area. We'll add on several more. You can see temperatures right now, Hillsboro 107. Here you go in Temple 103, Waco 103, Marlin 103, Georgetown also 103, but you factor in that humidity, it's feeling much hotter than that. Now, it's not crazy humid out there. It's definitely drier in the afternoon, but the closer you get to the east, look at College Station, it's feeling like 109, so a little bit higher dew points in that area. We still have that broad area of high pressure. You can see it here in the desert southwest. You get the clockwise flow around that high. So on the northern and eastern side of that high, we're getting a little bit of activity there in parts of of the Panhandle and North Texas. That's where we're going to see potentially a weak front moving through and that may spark a few showers and storms along the Red River later on today, maybe even into tomorrow. That'll be the focal point for some scattered showers and storms each and every day this week. Unfortunately, the only time we may see some activity is Monday night into Tuesday. This particular forecast model does pull out a little bit of rain, but again, outside of that, it does look like most of us will be dry. In fact, the rain chances only at 10%. Now here we go through the rest of the week. Still a few clouds here and there, uh, but most of Central Texas staying dry. And our latest drought monitor starting to show some of that extreme uh, drought peeking in here into Bell County and burn bans for everyone across the viewing area. Red flag warning tonight until 1 a.m. That'll probably be extended into tomorrow too. That red flag warning means just a high fire danger. So what can you expect with that? How can you prevent something like that from happening? Do not toss lit cigarettes on the ground. Don't drag tow chains on the ground. Uh, make sure those are picked up and tied up. Don't park on tall grass. It's way too dry and could easily spark a fire. Don't burn unnecessarily and follow the burn bans and report any fires to 911. Temperatures tonight, we're talking lows mainly in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees and looking at your seven day triple digits all the way through next week.